making a fresh baked pretzel that's not only big enough to satisfy everyone at your party, but will for sure score you extra points. We took one of our favorite game day watching snacks, the pretzel, and supersized it. No, really, we blew it up and we're serving it with the perfect dipping sauces. So we're gonna start by preheating your oven to 425, and I've already lined my baking sheet with parchment paper that I sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. And then we're gonna start by mixing our flour and our water. Just kidding, I actually have a great tip for that. Instead, we're gonna use canned refrigerated pizza crust dough. So I'm just going to lightly flour my work surface and then open four cans of the canned dough. So you're just gonna carefully unwrap your dough and we're actually gonna stack all four of these right on top of each other. I promise you, this is not gonna taste like a breadstick. I have some tricks for making it taste just like a delicious pretzel. Now we're about to have some fun. So I'm just gonna take the dough closest to me and tightly roll it into a log. So now I'm just gonna seal the edges by pressing the ends, and then I'm gonna pick the log up and start twisting it until it gets six feet long. Now I'm 5'7", which means it's gotta be the length of my arms, and then I'm probably gonna have to turn this baby vertically and let gravity help me do the rest. All right. Now we're gonna transform this dough into the shape of a pretzel. So I'm just gonna add a little more flour and grab our dough and make it the shape of a U. Now as this dough rests, it kind of starts to contract, so you really have to work fast. Take your ends, twist them inward, then twist them around each other, and then press them down. Now don't worry, practice makes perfect, and there are tons of occasions where you can bring a gigantic pretzel. Now I'm just gonna carefully put this onto my baking sheet. And then I have a little trick for making this taste just like a pretzel. You know how pretzels have that crispy, crunchy, shiny exterior? Well, that comes down to baking soda. So I'm just gonna heat up a little bit of water in the microwave. Now you just want the water hot enough so that it dissolves one tablespoon of baking soda. And then I'm just gonna brush the baking soda and water mixture all over the pretzel. Now at this point, we're just gonna let this rise for about 10 minutes. Great, now we can brush the top of our pretzel with one beaten egg. This egg wash is really gonna make sure that the pretzel is a nice golden brown and it helps the salt stick. Now I'm just gonna pop this in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes or until the top is golden brown and the pretzel is baked through. How awesome is this pretzel? Now this is really great straight out of the oven, nice and warm, but it's also perfect for parties because you can serve it at room temp. And I love serving it with some of my favorite dipping sauces, like grainy mustard, marinara, ranch, honey mustard, and pub cheese. And for this piece, I'm definitely gonna do a little bit of ranch on one side, flip it and dip it in some pub cheese. Mmm. This pretzel is delicious. I love how on the inside it's tender and soft, and then on the outside you get that salty, crispy crunch. Mm, I know you guys are gonna love this pretzel. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Pop Sugar Food. And be sure to check out my other videos where I supersized a peanut butter cup and one of my favorites, a giant ice cream sandwich. I'm Brandy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.